Namaste. Good morning. This morning I want to begin with a statement that might shock you a bit. Jesus Christ was not a Christian, and neither am I. It's today I'd like to share with you a little bit about what that means to me and maybe encourage you to let go of some of these restrictive labels and identities that have um, kept you or hindered you from being able to really thoroughly enjoy life in this body. So I often get questions from from you guys and from various other social media platforms and when I travel and speak I get them in person and people say Silas and I what are you like what do you actually believe are you a Christian uh, I say no no I'm not a Christian I say, are you are you a Buddhist I say no 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 I'm not a Buddhist they say well uh, are you are you into like Hinduism? Like what are you? What are you? And I, and I respond, yeah, I'm, I'm none of those things. None of those things. Uh, they're always trying to wrap their mind around what I am. And um, I want to share a little bit with you about why I can say I just I am. I am. It's because of Jesus. Jesus Christ, not the image you have of Jesus Christ in the Bible per se, but Jesus himself has been encountering me since I was a small boy growing up within Christianity. He's been encountering me, and every encounter that I had, this is one of the marks of a true encounter, is that it seemed to transcend my previous beliefs or the beliefs that I had um, I had, had entering into that encounter. I could not leave that encounter carrying those same burdens or beliefs because uh, what was revealed to me stripped away those beliefs, stripped away some of those burdens layer by layer by layer. And a lot of these encounters, these spiritual experiences came in trances and visions and dreams and some of them even came in face-to-face -face encounters. But over the years, these encounters that I would have with Jesus always left me in this pile of mush, in this metamorphosis state, this cocoon-type state where everything that I had entered this encounter with seemed to begin to fade away or be, it was violated. It was as if Jesus was violating my beliefs. And at certain point, it, it, I realized that, my God, Jesus Christ wasn't a Christian. Jesus, you're not a Christian. And so how could I be a Christian? I, as a follower of Jesus and his teachings, and not just your biblical teachings, what you find in the Bible, but what he was teaching me, I could not very well call myself a Christian when he was not a Christian. And Christianity was formed many years after Jesus Christ. And it's in some way sad to me. Please hear my heart here because I'm not saying Christianity is sad. There's a place for it. But Jesus was revealing this all-inclusive, universal truth. Matter of fact, when he was hanging on the cross, he, he looks out over all creation and he says, It is finished. Well, the word finished there, teleo, it means it is perfect. It is complete. He was even looking out over those that hung him on the cross and saying, you are perfect. You are included. We are one. And yet what happened was over the years, his followers, as more and more people came, Christianity moved from, I mean, uh, what they were following, which was originally called the way, which is kind of crazy because Taoism is also called the way. I'm not a Taoist either. But they moved from a place of, um, 
this all-inclusive universal truth of what we all are beyond our beliefs into a members only morality club that has everything to do with what you believe the prayers that you say and the morals that you live by and it basically became a um, yeah you know it became a behavioral modification system which always kind of leaves you frustrated and aggravated and wounded. But, I won't go down that road. So when you ask me what I am, please understand, I have no belief to share with you. I have no doctrines to teach you. I have no philosophy to impart to you. I simply am here in this moment. I'm just here in this present moment with you. And if you are here with me, then we, as one, can touch this moment together and in a beautiful uh, dance, allow this moment to unfold and intimately experience not only one another, but our divine union and our divine essence, what I would call Christ consciousness or the Christ life, what Christ, what Jesus was continually revealing was not only that he was this Christ, the anointed one, but that as he is, so are we, that we've always been one with him and in him and our sharers and partakers together in this divine nature. And so it's with this that I leave you. In duality, we're trying to define ourselves by a religious system. When the moment you were born, you probably had a religious a religion slapped on your forehead like a tattoo. You know, like you're a Christian, or you're a Muslim, or you're a Jew, or you are. And it even says in the Bible that there is neither now nor male nor female, Jew nor Greek. You know, there's neither Christian nor Jew, Christian, nor Muslim, Christian, nor Buddha. There's neither slave nor free, rich nor poor. Like, we are one in Christ. In the realization of Christ, we are one. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. This new, there's one new creation. It's as a singular creation, not a dualistic creation, me a creation and you a creation, but a singular reality of perfection and joy. This is... What ultimately releases in the avatar, in the body, this uh, oh, high life, the awakening to the eternal and perpetual bliss, this sustainable existence of joy and of peace. But as long as you're hanging on to a belief, you're limiting yourself, you're hindering yourself. I mean, that passage of scripture, might as well read, there is neither American nor Chinese, there is neither you know, Mexican nor European. We're, we are continually trying to divide ourselves. We're allowing people, others, governments and the such to create invisible borders and lines in our minds that are dividing us from ourselves. They're keeping you from being able to look into another's eyes and see yourself. As I said, I think it was in yesterday's video, the greatest moment of my life is in this moment when I get to stare into your eyes and see the Christ, see myself. This is the greatest moment of my life. And there are no lines to divide me because I have no beliefs that are separating me from you. You can, you are free whether you identify as a Christian still or not, or as a Jew or as a Muslim or as, it doesn't matter. You are free to identify in whatever way you would like, nationally, religiously, in gender. But I don't have those beliefs that will separate me from you. And it's in each one of these videos and each one of these encounters you have with me that I hope that just like when Jesus encountered me and was violating these belief structures, I want to come and in love I want you to, to know that you're loved, but in love, violate those belief structures and, and strip them away so that you can realize more and more of what you are, of what we are.
as one beautiful divine being being expressed throughout the cosmos. <laughs> and this is such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing. I used to fight to hang on to my beliefs. But the more I awakened, the less I felt the need to be right, the less I cared about those beliefs, and the more I just simply was the divine expression. I love you. No matter where you're at, no matter what you believe, no matter what labels have been stamped on your forehead or not, I love you. We are one. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Subscribe to my channel and let's shift global consciousness together. Also, check out the daily video series right here. Hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.